Welcome back to another strange and mysterious podcast. Yeah. All right. Welcome hey, back. WWF. Welcome back. Course, hey, I'm your host, G. Introduce yourself, fellas. What's up, G? What's up, McVice? Define Triple Nine here. A little under the weather mentally, but I'm hoping that some, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll get into some good stuff. It's McVice. McVice, the one, the only McVice. There is no other like McVice. Yeah. There's hey, no, you there's can no copy a McVice. Vice Jr. You cannot, you cannot have the real the cheap McVice. copies, right? They're like Walmart discs. Hey, Walmart for me and bullshit. Get this garbage away from me. <laughs> no, they're family if, dollar McVices. If you have any copies, let me see. It'd just be cool. We're like, holy shit. Hey, it's like that Spider Man. Just like me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's funny. I'd hang out with them, like, oh, fuck, dude. Like, you're me, motherfucker. All of of the McVices would do this. (laughs) What the fuck? They all did this at the same time. Oh, dude, I could have some fun with that shit. (laughs) You know, <laughs> I'm like, hey, man, go spend yeah. some time with my girlfriend. Like, I'm going to go do this over here. <laughs> He's like, that's like, uh, that's so that's like the movie, The Last Red. Starfighter. Hey, like... <laughs> Remember The Last Starfighter? That's exactly oh, what yeah. it is. That's yeah. exactly. Remember, he went up to the, what do they call it? The Federation? I don't remember. Um, And he I had know, basically that a clone. Was an awesome movie. He had a clone. No, and the clone awesome. went out with his girlfriend, and remember, he didn't know how to kiss, and his girlfriend yeah. was like, "What? <laughs> like, why are you so different?" That's exactly. Like, you'd have, <laughs> yeah, you'd have to teach your clone, Nick Vice. This is the weird part. You'd actually have to teach your clone how to do. Stuff I know. I know. In I'd probably, exactly I'd probably give him some it. notes. I give him some notes, like do this, hey, do that. You make know? your lips like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> remember this right here, like. Just remember that. I bring that up. So, you know, whatever. You know, <laughs> always rotate in a circular fashion. Hey, you were so different last night, Reg. What were you doing? Right. <laughs> Turns out he's like way better. They're like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. The, yeah. The he starts, has he become starts, the master. Starts burning. Yeah. You're like, I'm yeah, all she's taking like, oh from my clone. Like, hey, man, what did you do? That's awesome. I need to do that. Like, <laughs> hey, he says, the clone says to, to McVice, put your lips like this. Right. Like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, and you know, if you think about it, that's what's so neat about that whole clone idea is that they're you, but they're a different you coming to a different understanding of any situation so yeah. imagine you know they like they talk about how the best way to analyze things is oftentimes to kind of hit pause and look at it from multiple angles sure. you have that you'd have a clone that could mm-hmm. and then what your clone learns you learn and then you just exactly. share information and you you'd end up being like like a like a powerhouse within society. The, the the trick would be keeping one clone hidden while the other's out and about doing their shit. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, and then like, like you said, it, your clone would come up to that point, but he would view things in a different way than yep. you would at that point. Yep. Right. To see life. That's, differently, that's right? the part that fascinates me. Yeah. Is it still be you? It'd just be a different version of you coming mm-hmm. to maybe a completely different conclusion but then when you when you mix them you end up having a just the best understanding of that situation sure. Fuck it, man i'd say if we're really thinking in a in a true sci-fi fashion i why not have a ship of clones <laughs> attack of the clones no. maybe <laughs> Hey, haven't I seen oh, that? What I mean God, is, dude. like, have have like a household of clones. You just have a clone. You, yeah. you would just understand that you'd be doing your own thing. And I mean, would you be so alike that you would hate each other? I don't know. Or would you be so alike that, in some ways, you could get along perfectly well because you know all their habits, right? Ooh, you know, exactly the only problem I see stuff. though is if you did have like, let's say you had ten clones, right? Let's say you got into a situation where cat's out the bag, you're out with all your clones somehow, and let's say 
the cops show up and like one of them's a murderer, you know? And yeah. now all of a sudden the cops trying to figure out and like, you're, you're you and you're not a criminal, but you're fucking clone is, you know? And the cops trying to figure out which one is the fucking bad one, you know, like that who's the a, real you. Yeah. That would be tough. So you'd hopefully be, you have something on you. Like, dude, I'm the real me. Here's my key that proves that these guys you are know what? fucking copies of me, you know? That that would be interesting if the real dude had a key that yeah. you could press a button and they would stop their hearts. So if shit started Something. to go wrong, it's like yeah. an emergency. I mean, right. think of the like ethical and moral like shit of that. What? <laughs> I think Isn't so. Is there like a movie like that? I, think I don't so. know. Is there? I, I know that there was a there was a movie, movie where they could that's similar is the island with the Ian island. McGregor. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And uh mm-hmm. what's her name? Scar jo. Yeah, she was in that and, movie uh, also. I think Running Man with Schwarzenegger was sort of like that. If you think of having a kill switch, but a lot of sci fi's yeah. have kill switches True. on people's bodies. But um but then there'd be ethical, moral Mm-hmm. Stuff that I'd just be like, you know, what if you one of your clones went in a really different direction and yeah, you ended up hating them because they're just dicks. Super well, yeah, dicks. well, think about it. I, think I hate all... myself. God, I well, hate that dude, motherfucker. Man, we all have like, I'm sure we all have dark thoughts, right? Yeah. For me, like, I think I'm pretty good at controlling all that shit. It's just a thought, whatever. But what if one of your clones lives off of those thoughts, you know, like the dark sides of your personality that you keep at bay, that motherfucker lives is like the embodiment of your dark side of your personality. And you <laughs> would like, know oh it. Oh my God. And no. you would know how you, only you could hunt that criminal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Only you could hunt that person. Exactly. Like, you know, as good as you could. Hey, either there's a movie like this or we're just dropping gems for somebody to make a fucking movie. Mm-hmm. No, there's got to be a movie that has some of that stuff built into it. Hey, in be. 10 years, we're going to be like, did we talk about this? What the fuck? Well, there was a Sorry, TV Denzel show. Washington. What? The there Island was is... a TV show that was similar to that where, like, the girl encountered her clone. She didn't even know she had clones, you know? And I never finished uh, watching it, so I don't know what all happened. Like, I don't know if she herself was a clone as well, and she didn't know it. But, yeah, it was kind of interesting. And you have to think about this. With the clones, would they would they be – would you have them age faster? Would you have them start out from scratch for, as a baby? I mean, imagine having you as a little kid. You'd be raising these little clones. You could have them. Well, that would make it a lot more complex, and you know, because if you if they grew yeah. up with you, then they are pretty much you, or maybe they're just like a twin brother almost, you know. Mm-hmm. But if they're truly clones, and you probably made copies of yourself at some point in your adult life, you know. I don't know yeah. though; it, it can get interesting. You know, <laughs> there's multiple ways to go with this shit. You know. All right. So, who's making yep. a movie? We we need to have a director. Let's go. Who's gonna be the actor in it? Mateo? The actor yeah. in the in the movie? It was close? Sure. No. Hey, no, that'll no. be your scene to take your shirt off. Yeah, but I'm not. <laughs> hey, you know what? We'll 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 plan a no. love scene with Scarlett Johansson. How about that? Oh, oh, oh. How about this? Make Martine hey. the actor, bro. Oh Me yeah, too? Martin would be a good actor. Yeah, yeah. He's Martin would be like, good guy. Make Martin the actor. <laughs> hey, there'll like, be a bunch I'm, of clones of Martin. I'm out of shape now, so fuck it, you know. <clears throat> hey, we could be the uh, background people. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll be. We'll be the like grizzled. I don't know, grizzled <laughs> veterans of something. Yeah, <laughs> that just happened to have some good actresses. What sons of bitches? <laughs> We'll be like the burbs. We'll be the neighbors next door. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. All right. So cool. uh, this episode really is going to be talking about what kind of happened in our last episode. Uh, unfortunately, I was uh, we weren't in, uh, able to put the whole video together uh, due to some uh, infringement that was said 
from uh, the Discovery Channel. So because of that, we're going to discuss what the last episode was. And it was about the uh, Russian campers that were murdered um, in a very remote place. And unfortunately, right, there really isn't any leads per se. There's, of course, the uh, theory that it was Yeti, right? And mm -hmm. what do you guys think? Did it, did it have strong enough evidence uh, to support maybe a Yeti, right, doing those things to those those campers? I don't know, man, because I, you know, I'm, I'm familiar with the Datlov Pass incident. And like I said, I remember I said this at the end of the video that they had never they had never come to any conclusions like that. Just, you know, like the Discovery Channel, mm -hmm. like, no, they had never once, you know, said, oh, yeah, you know, it looks like it's evidence of a Bigfoot or a Yeti. You know, mm -hmm. it, it almost seemed like they left out a lot. You know, if you've yeah. looked at this before in like years past, you know. Like it was a lot more sinister than what they led to believe. They they did go on some of the big things, but I remember thinking to myself, I didn't know what exactly happened to them, you know? Like mm -hmm. I wasn't thinking Yeti though, you know? No. Like, not that a Yeti couldn't do that, but it just seemed like a lot more sinister than just a Yeti, you know? So in your opinion, what do you think may have caused that? I don't know, man. There's so much crap out there that who the heck knows? To me, like, you know, we've touched on the missing 411 stuff. You know, mm -hmm. there's something going on out there that mm -hmm. even like David Politis, you know, like he, I think he kind of, without ever admitting, leans towards Bigfoot sometimes, but it seems like there's something else going on, like some other stuff out there. Aside from Bigfoot, you know? Yeah. Could be could and be like, more sinister. Yeah, exactly. Right. And like two of the big prominent cryptids I know of are Bigfoot and Dogman, but then there's other stuff out there. I've come across videos and channels saying that the creature from Predator is a real being, you know, that mm. the movie Bigfoot. Predator is not not far fetched at all. That, you know, special op special operations seems to have encountered such a being you know yeah so one of the parts mm -hmm. of the documentary or the little piece from from uh, discovery um yeah. about the death of uh passes incident that was a little bit kind of like confusing for me or maybe kind of like kind of weird was when the girl got her tongue ripped out sure right? yeah like like if it was a yeti right doing all that damage Right. And there's evidence to kind of, you know, support some of that. Mm -hmm. How was her tongue ripped out? Was it ripped out through her jaw? Right. Like, did the creature grab it and rip it out? Was it surgically removed? Right. I, I wasn't mm -hmm. sure of that part because that yeah. would kind of give us more of a hint. Right. If it was yeah. surgically removed, maybe it was, you know, other sinister, you know, creatures yeah. that maybe aren't from Earth. Right. Or maybe it was a government experiment yeah. right? or may maybe something else. But I would like to know to what extent that girl had her tongue ripped out. It would say a lot. Right. more. What do you guys think? Yeah. Because you'd think a Yeti tongue removal is going to be a quite brutal process. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not like he's going to be like at the dentist and put little cotton balls there and you know, Italy. he's gonna he's gonna yeah. fucking rip that shit out he has to be like here let's get you set up here <laughs> let's just go take that tongue out that's not how get that works light. Get light. but if it was surgical if it was like clean somehow mm -hmm. that's odd that means that could have happened post-mortem after the body was dead um yeah, that would be a, that would be an interesting thing to note. I, I think I'd lean more on the Yeti side if it's a very brutalish kind of thing. But if it's more of a clean thing, that that makes doubts in my mind. Also, what I thought been. of maybe why that girl got her tongue ripped out is because she was yelling, and that mm. creature didn't want to hear that anymore. So he may have reached into the mouth and yeah. ripped it out. But if he has a huge hand. That means that that face cavity must have been destroyed, 
right? Like yeah. something that big, the, the damn Yeti wouldn't be like this. No, no, that that's what I'm saying. Like right? the 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 Yeti it tongue removal brutal. thing's going to be brutally ripped. brutal and messy. Right? <laughs> if the tongue was just out, <laughs> and they found the tongue, right? I'm not sure. Did they, oh, so that's another interesting thing. We don't know if the tongue was just gone and they never found it. Hey, or, man, I got to do my Arnold Schwarzenegger. What happened to the girl? Oh, she's tongue tied. She's tongue tied. <laughs> yeah, she's <tongue-tied. laughs> <They're> tired. <laughs> well, um, here's another interesting detail that I find intriguing. Remember how they said it seemed like they cut themselves out of their tents? Yeah. yeah. Like they were so terrified. That they had to get out of their ter- their tents that fast. When you think about it, to me, that seems like something came up into the tent yeah. to make them have to bail out of it so freaking fast, you know? And it's like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know all the tendencies of a Yeti, you know, but what is this other one? Hey, just like said it's up. Yeah. Like, did the edges pop up in between yeah. the sleeping bags? They're like, oh my God. Or, that just I don't know, man. You just got know. Yeti, bro. And who and who and the other thing that's interesting is you think could have been it didn't have to just be one creature, could have been three, could have been four. Oh, well, remember yeah, the no, fact that, you know the fact that it had snowed already. See, it really sucks they didn't find them for days, right? Because they yeah. we don't because in that week that they were gone, this is the other interesting thing. If because I don't remember them saying anything about this either. In that week that they were gone, there was no communication from them at all. So we don't know if that was their first night up there. We don't don't. know what fucking we don't know what fucking day it was. Mm -hmm. So part of the problem is we're missing really key evidence in that foot in in those foot in that snow uh, evidence because. The the people that found the bodies would then know. Okay, there was a there was a battle over here. There was a battle right there. This one mm-hmm. ran over here and then was captured and brought back to this place. That's the thing when you when they do those forensics. Or even back then, they could they could tell basically what had happened um, by just coming across the bodies with no foot evidence. It really makes it hard too, you know, because that's the other thing a yeti should have a very big signature. You're going to see huge snow displacement, right? Well, it's just and odd. again, they, they, you know, the Yeti had been known to be in that area, right? And the villagers had said, so here's another aspect. What if the villagers are the ones that committed those murders, right? We could have. Maybe we warn could've. off other people from coming up there yep. to make it look like a Yeti. Yeah, then and as they're walking back, they're laughing. The Doko Mountain or whatever they call it—that right? Right? just happens to be their their big still where they're making the best goddamn, uh, you know, native vodka out there in Russia, right? right? Hello, comrade. We don't. Yeah, they're they're like we can't let them find our fucking vodka. That's our print money over there, man. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that could have happened too. Um, it could it without that key evidence, without a lot of the key evidence, we no one's ever gonna know what happened to those people. Did did didn't they have a camera? Didn't they so they did they did have pictures that they had shot. So they yeah. did see some stuff. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't think they took pictures of a Yeti. <laughs> no. I don't either, man. You know? Hey, the Yeti's like this. <laughs> yeah. Selfie, he's all no to me so the Russian hey. government just probably thought they could get away with, you know, or maybe not even the Russian government, the Discovery Channel. It's like, hey, let's just say it's a freaking Yeti, you know? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) The evidence, you know, a lot of it has to do with looking at all the evidence and how you want to portray it in the show. You can present it up in all kinds of different ways Mm -hmm. to move viewers in whichever direction you want them to go, right? Yeah, because I mean, so, these people were terrified, man. I don't, I don't think they mentioned any, any evidence of a struggle. Like, did any of them try to fight back? Whatever this thing was, were they able to see whatever this thing was? You know, I mean, who the heck yeah. knows? But it, it just, they, all of it doesn't add up, man. You know, 
And they didn't have good forensics back then anyway. Like, no, like they always say the thing people forget is under the fingernails is tons of evidence. You'd have hair, you'd have, you know, you'd at least be able to see if, if a big hairy Yeti is attacking you. I'm guessing that some of those people were pulling all that rough. It'd be like a shag carpet, right? Trying to survive. Be a big old shag fucking Yeti fucking chest right there. Right. I'd be pulling that hair out to try to get it to. (laughs) I'd be trying to get it to like cause pain. Huh? Like we we know. Oh yeah. (laughs) I'm going to say this though. Like we, we know there's all kinds of evidence for like Bigfoot and yetis or whatever out there plenty of amateurs have caught footage of these things and we know they try to still keep it under wraps but i i just think out of you know all the paranormal things like bigfoot's one of the ones where it's like well there's a lot of people out there with evidence of it you know mm-hmm. so take with it what you will but to me it's almost like they're like you know what let's just say it's yeti to get them to, to stop looking in this you know yeah cool, get everyone yeah. to calm down you know when yeah, deep down it's something be, be way out. different, something way, far more sinister than that, you know? Yeah, maybe there's not yetis at all. Maybe it's these interdimensional beings just be like, yeah, this is our funnest suit. We promise you, you're going to have a blast in this suit. You better go down there. And they're fucking, fucking, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, it's, it's strange, but all right. Well, we just wanted to Talk a little bit about since we, our audience didn't get to see the whole episode. So that's been our show. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Peace. Bye. Peace.